Chabin friends, I'm very happy uh, that uh, you, you are all came here to listen our guest, Professor Anshri Sukumar. I welcome you all. Uh, today, Professor uh, Sukumar is going to speak gate crashing into Gurukul's caste discrimination in Indian University. This talk is based on his recent caste discrimination and exclusion in Indian University, a critical reflection. Uh, published from Routley, and uh, it's uh, I have read it, uh, <laughs> though I don't have hard copy, but uh, 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 it's available, and you can know. Read, read it. Uh, and it's I will say it's a very daring attempt to being in a higher education to write uh, such um, uh, such book, uh, which speak very loud uh, and very clear and uh, contain uh, the harsh reality of our Indian Indian institution. I briefly introduce uh, Professor and Su Sukumar, and then he will speak for 45 minutes to one hour, and then we will take uh, some question answer for 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, professor N. Shri Kumar um, is a professor at uh, Department of Political Science, Delhi Universities, his area of interest include Indian political thought, Ambedkar and Dalit Bahujan studies, and social exclusion. Uh, currently, he is engaged with the idea of Dalit citizenship. He has published widely in research journal, blogs, etc., and has been involved in both national and international research studies on poverty and public institution marginalization as caste based discrimination. And um, he has very very timely and very important book uh, which which came and i told about it and i will i i i really feel that this book uh, should be read by all stakeholders of higher education not only student faculty research scholar but administration and authorities also and i think uh, it should make even compulsory in re refresher course and that a student should have uh, um, some idea about what kind of difficulties uh, a student coming from the marginalized section faced, and they may be sensitized on this issue. Uh, with this word, uh, I hand over to please. Yeah, thank you so much, Nishikant, and uh, thank you very much, colleagues from CSDS. And also, you know, I can see many of my, uh, you know, students, student friends, you know, those who are in also involved with this work in the field. So I also acknowledge them. Without them, this work would have been not possible, uh, probably. And um, uh, if I start, uh, that you know, how did I conceive this idea? And before that, I would like to be very, you know, brute and honest. Because Rutledge published it, the issue of caste within the academia or university spaces is being debated. Otherwise, this issue would have been not at all been heard. And that is where, you know, why what, you know, Nishikant was mentioning about, not that I'm propagating for my book, but somewhere that the deaf eyes of the higher educational institutions need to be heard. They need to be communicated. And I recall that when I ventured, you know, I mean, what made in a college in Delhi University long back 14 years before, when I went and presented a paper, a four page paper, which I have written about locating myself as a subject, that how the Dalit students, 
scheduled caste students. They experienced discrimination uh, in university system where, you know, when Senthil Kumar was died, you know, was he, 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 he in, in fact, I call these, you know, deaths as institutional murders. One may agree, may not agree. So when I presented this, <laughs> the larger, you know, academia, they felt that I am trying to valorize the victimhood. And they said that, you know, does it really happen in these days? I was talking about Hyderabad University, Central University, where I was there for almost a decade for my master's and other research studies. So the onus felt on me that in social sciences, as we know that we need to prove through data. Otherwise, the larger academic audience was not ready to accept the facts. They were not ready to accept the facts. They said that you are from the Dalit community or scheduled caste background. So therefore you are trying to valorize. Including a Dalit professor who was there in that you know, seminar, who came and very, and a very known Dalit professor who came and who said that, no, you are valorizing. Don't valorize this victimhood. I felt completely devastated that a boy who died and his body was not even found for, it, it took 48 hours to see very Senthil Kumar in the university spaces. In an era where mobile and in an era where completely, you know, the human relation, it, it, it's completely, it reflects the, the collapse of the human relationships within the university system. His lab mates was not able to, we know that, you know, suppose if your own institution or if your own classmate doesn't, you don't find, you know, your own lab mate, you'll try to figure out whether he, where he went out, you know. So 48 hours it took for the larger, you know, audience within the university that, you know, after his body was decomposed, that made me to feel very sad where the institution, where I brought up and where the Dalit students movement was very much strong, very much strong. And, uh, you know, all these things were, you know, unnoticed, unnoticed. No, it's not that, you know, I mean, not people doesn't know about these issues within the university spaces. Many people know about it. But it is all, these are all unnoticed. These are all, you know, is, you know, not at all. Uh, when when uh, I came out with a small write-up, a research scholar who want to do on suicides from Delhi University, she approached the sociology department and the sociology department said that, why you want to do all these things? You do some other work. And therefore, not even a single work is, has been produced by the so-called liberal, progressive sociologists within the discipline has completely failed to come out with a small piece that why students are committing suicide. Forget about, you know, scheduled caste students. As if that student suicides are not at all the subject or domain of these, you know, scholars. Anyway, unfortunately, when we are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrut Mahatsa, we are still not ready to accept the, or, or, you know, I mean, the monster of caste refuses to be wished away. We romanticize Azadi, but we, we, we don't, we don't really look into the problems that the scheduled caste students, they face into the university systems or even higher educational institutions. Say it not only universities, but also the elite institutions like IITs and IIMs. And there are three to four contexts which I would like to immediately bring and then I'll move towards to the book. In Punjab University, the most recent example which I would like to quote. Ambedkar Students Association, they are on hunger strike for more than three weeks. And the lackadaisical approach of the administration reflects the insensitivity towards to the students' problems, Dalit students' problems, scheduled caste student problems. And the issues are very simple because their certificates were held up due to post-metric post scholarships, you know, uh, 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 were not being, you know, sanctioned. And issues like mess, you know, or, you know, hostel facilities, all, all these things might be very, very small, you know, people might, you know, laugh on people, you know, students that what are these, these are all issues, but for them, these are the issues that they face in everyday context of the university system. And on 18th July, 2022, 
in Lok Sabha, the ministry, ministry stated that the skew against the disadvantaged groups was deeper than the overall average of 2021. For instance, in IIT Bilai, out of 2007 applications from candidate, uh, candidates from SC background, scheduled caste background, none was accepted in 2021. While only one each was accepted at Dharwad and Tirupati IITs. Also, last year at IIT Mandi, Bilai, Goa, Tirupati, not one out of 140, 30, and 93 ST applications, you know, respectively, was not even one was selected. That means, you know, zero. There were application, applicants, but none was selected. Among others, IIT Jodhpur and IIT Bhubaneswar, Bhubaneswar accepted one out of 107 and 149 ST applications, respectively. And much recently, because you know my work is more on you know universities, I would like to bring these IITs and IIMs also into the you know figure. So therefore, I am bringing this data. And uh, PhD admissions for IIMs the so-called meritorious institutions. Merit, you know, the, within quotes. These institutions, for 13 Indian Institute of uh, 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 IIMs, you know, uh, management, you know, institutions in 2022, OBC students. Not only the problem is with SCSTs, including OBCs who are supposed to know and speak about these issues now in contemporary times. I'm not giving the details of all the institutions, but I'm just giving you the total number. Out of 628 applications from all 13 IIMs, shortlisted applicants were 269. And the selected applicants was 54 OBC candidates. Similarly, SS applicants, Applied 310, shortlisted 112, and selected 1515. And ST candidates, total 96 applicants, shortlisted 49, selected eight IAMs, not admitted a single ST student out of these 13. Five IIMs did not admit a single SC student. IIM Nagpur and Shillong did not admit any SC, ST, OBC students. What does it speak? What does it speak? Who are these guardians of merits? That we need to seriously retrospect. And also, the union minister much recently said, and it is very important when such things in public institutions, public funded institutions, if it is happening. And shamelessly, the ministry claims that high time, it hit on the headlines. We dropped concept of only government funded universities. That means, apna paisa rakho, apna padai karo. So where will these, you know, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, OBC, and including poor within courts, upper caste go? Where do they go? Where do they get, you know, their educational aspirations? If government is not interested or is least bothered to fund such institutes. So therefore, education is no longer a public good. <laughs> and it has become a private good. So you have money and you will have access towards to these you know, institutions. Therefore, it is your problem. It is not the problem of the state or it is not the concerns of the state itself. The way how the rampant privatization, and if you see in 1990s and then 2000, and now you see the institutions which are you know, on par equal, the private and public institutions are on par equal now. Institutions doesn't even exist, but you give 100 crores towards to those institutions to get established with a high class, you know, a tag, high class tag. And we are all blindly accepting that kind of, you know, merit, rather than questioning to strengthen the uh, uh, public institutions. 
now I, i'll just come to uh, that you know a background or you know some kind of you know theoretical background where i tried to you know dominance theory and many other theories which i applied that how these you know things that operate within the institutional setup but you know we have seen that in ancient world you know considered land as a you know paramount resource and wars were waged to capture more territories so that was the only thing where you know you capture territories therefore you wage war and for the ind industrial societies capital was the source of sustenance but in the modern era privilege and power based on knowledge that is where based on knowledge is the magic mantra the currency of socio economic relations if you are potential in acquiring knowledge you can grow as much as possible and if this is curtailed then your social and economic relations is completely scuttled off therefore knowledge plays an important role in every individual's life as churchill once observed the empire of future are going to be the empires of the mind therefore i used a subtitle in this hands versus brains okay jo ajanta subramaniam i i looked into ajanta subramaniam's work and i tried to bring certain things you know in fact i tried to track the discrimination uh, from 1970s itself till much recently till much recently this book has you know come out where a much recent article uh, i mean uh, recent means by 2020 you know where i you no know, 21 i submitted this manuscript where the bhu the horrifying stories of bhu where the women was subjected to sexual harassment vandana has written a very wonderful article on this so the indian society which considered knowledge production and its dissemination as exclusive privilege you know who is supposed to be studied you know openly even in presently also even in present times you know we will be you know thinking that you know where where are we living you know shamelessly people claim that you know you are a scheduled caste you are a scheduled tribe therefore you are not supposed to get education you know how come you come to these kind of institutions there are professors in institutions they call themselves as you know professors but this is how you know they 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 they, they, they humiliate they humiliate okay what constitutes knowledge its philosophy its relationship to one's lived experiences was not available to the masses living experiences is not at all considered as knowledge own theories we are dumped ourselves into theories we are not looking into the empirical evidences to substantiate the theories that which we have built for many decades as argued by berger and lukman knowledge is a social construction of reality belief system and the ideas are products of the existing social order thus knowledge and reality existed in a dialectical and reciprocal relationship of mutual construction it is through social interaction that knowledge is constructed do we have a proper social interaction in institutions what is what is been practiced at you know village the feudal casteist mind setup is still operating in the institutional mechanism in the university spaces so the social relations which is highly problematic you know how do you how do you problematize this and how do you understand this you know consensus is a very important you know uh, uh, time now it's a mutual construction and there is no sense of mutuality there is no sense of mutuality itself when i asked you know in my questionnaire i asked name five friends five best friends no you will come to know that you know how this mutual relationships operates on what lines on the lines of caste on the lines of you know ideology in the lines of you know I mean, certain other you know parameters rather than human or human relationships 
This is simply illustrated when Brahminical knowledge, it is, sorry, it is through social interaction that knowledge is constructed. And it is, this is amply illustrated when Brahminical knowledge is dissented, dissected to understand its secret injunctions, including the various scripturally sanctioned threats to women and shudras, excluding them from the realm of knowledge. So you exclude them. And more we are witnessing now. The scriptural knowledge, scriptural knowledge which has excluded these communities is coming back into the institutional setup. In IITs, they started, you know, studying about, you know, cow dung and cow urine. <laughs> it is shame on our part. It is shame on our part to claim ourselves as Vishwa Gurus. How do you understand caste as capital? Long back, Aristotle mentioned the richness of human life by the freedom to engage in meaningful activity. He believed that the lack of liberty to act in self-chosen ways improved impoverished life. More recently, Amartya Sen has argued that being excluded from social relations limits our life opportunities. So you exclude the best opportunity, best thing to you know, avoid certain communities is that you know, exclude them from social relationships. Finish. And you, 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 you push them for decades back. There won't be any progress in their social and economic relations. So therefore, culture becomes their capital, cultural capital. You know, their background becomes very important when it comes to their sustenance, their survival into this, you know, institutional mechanism. So therefore, education is one of the chief means to multiply one's prosperous prospects in life to access what Bordio calls both cultural and social capital. Just now that's what I was mentioning. And I just, you know, uh, I'm just cutting short my theoretical, you know, I, I, I got many, you know, scholars, but I want to move to my book, which what speaks about, you know, that. In fact, I would like to you know, critically engage. I, in fact, I, I critically engaged with many established sociologists. I never shied away. Probably, you know, that, one, that can be challenged. Knowledge can be challenged, whoever it may be. Educational apartheid in India. When Andhra Bethe argued that caste has gradually withered away in urban locales and is only visible in its political manifestation. So, so caste is not social manifestation. No, it's only political manifestation. So ignore about thinking about caste. Okay. I quoted from his article only. I'm not constructing stories. You can go back and read about his arguments. Until the 19th century, Hindu intellectuals could argue that with force and conviction about the significance and value of the caste. Their counterparts of today, who are still mainly of upper caste, have lost the capacity not only to explain and justify caste, but even to describe it coherently. It coherently. He goes on to state that it is only the policy of reservations that is keeping caste alive. That means only reservations and caste. And there is no caste at all other than reservations. So you try to justify reservations is there. So therefore caste is alive. In urban space, because of you know reservations, there is a caste. But don't think beyond that. Don't think beyond that. Oh, no. Or you know, you know, uh, 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 this girl, uh, Hathras, no caste. That, that social is not visible to the so-called intellectuals. Then he goes on to state that it is only the policy of reservation that is keeping caste alive in present times. Caste has ceased to play an active role in the reproduction of inequality, at least, at least at the upper levels of social hierarchy, where it is no longer an important agent of either social placement or social control. Even if we, let us buy this argument, what he spoke about. To accept for a face value, what explains the backlash against the Mandal Commission? What explains the backlash against Mandal Commission? 
and the increasing exclusivity of academic spaces in the name of merit the data which i had given about iits and iims are they not part of the public is caste as is not becoming as part of the public discourse the general category can take recourse to what borgio calls as imaginary universe of perfect competition or perfect equality of opportunity a world without inertia without accumulation without hereditary sorry heredity or acquired prosperity to argue that it is the system of reservations and not historical caste historical caste privilege has been completely kept aside people very shamelessly say that i am sharma varma you know and they very you know they feel proud about you know speaking about their caste in the public domain do you expect that you know a dalit can say that i am a scheduled caste i am a dalit no doubt that sometimes that identity is for assertion at times caste identity is assertion and also it is anonymous there is something which deeply rooted into the identity the other can claim very prestigious but the other the the, the other dalits or scheduled caste they cannot claim how university is a microcosm of prevalent caste planning a university is imagine to be a democratic space which molds students into politically vibrant citizens rohit vemula's letter speaks about volumes okay and it one cannot forget about the politics and the assertion within that letter shiv vishwanath and wrote a very wonderful you no know, uh, uh, right up on that you know I mean why we were not able to protect these meritorious institutions of higher learning are supposed to perpetuate a legacy of humanism increasingly humanism increasingly universities have become sites of social exclusion where scheduled caste students are denied their share in cultural and social capital of the society and are expected to bear bear this denial silently caste determines the field of education in india students who belong to the lower structure of caste exper- experience discrimination based on caste in their day to day academic as well as non academic life these are the indicators of caste in educational institutions to name few language and vocabulary i am not going to explain we know a good speaking english with a polished oxford accent is recognized you know respected and a person who comes from rural andhra or bihar or from somewhere else you know who speaks chuta puta angrezi jaise main baat karta hu is not recognized therefore csds it took 21 years to csds to recognize my scholarship otherwise who is this sukumar good at least nishikant i am happy that now i have been invited i don't know whether i'll be invited again or not that's not a matter for me that's not a matter for me so vocabulary and language accent and expression may not be very polished you know when you speak yesterday one girl who came who is doing on the same area research and she she's now moving in iit delhi for her you know she said you know sir dress etiquette food you know everything matters when it comes to you know the caste exclusion in institutions of higher learning communication and social skills and mannerism i heard with my ears when i was student that dekho ye suwar jaisa kha raha hai mess mein baith ke jaisa ghar mein khana nahi ha bhai ghar mein khana nahi milta hai tumhara baap tumhara baap ka baap ne khana nahi jaane diya humko isliye wo kha raha hai wahan pe that you should feel ashamed about how much we eat how do how we eat names and surnames and then locality and residence dress and looks body language which are reflected through peer groups teachers student relations and gendered identities social discrimination or exclusion leads to deprivation mental block 
all these parameters was part of my questionnaire. 526 entries. That I think, you know, I mean, around 23 pages of, you know, questionnaire. It's a hard task. 600, I'll give you the details. Also. Humiliation, identity crisis, inferiority complex, communication gap, prejudices, escapism, suspicion, isolation, and crisis conflict, etc., are in the main causes results in dropouts and suicides. Hence, the university becomes a miniature embodiment of the dualism of a society, a creative mesh playing out of its tensions. Outlet of op oppositions ranged from excellence versus relevance, assimilation versus diversity, town versus country, elitism versus equality, individual freedom versus social relationships. UGC has come out with the guidelines in 2013. If every institute implements it in toto, I don't think that discrimination will really happen. There, there, is, a, there is a policy and it is there on the paper. And when I filed an RTA of 15 universities randomly, including my own university, where I am the signatory of my own department, which we have diligently submitted the report to the authorities, which they are supposed to prepare in a particular format, and they are supposed to send it to UGC. The reply comes from UGC is that Delhi University has not submitted its report. Hyderabad University, such a world-class institution, where I studied for 10 years, okay. their website is under construction. So that therefore, and you know, you can't put into that public domain and uh, uh, this things doesn't happen except JNU or some other universities they produced, you know. Information. So this 2013 guidelines need to be kept when we address about these issues. Torat committee, he studied extensively about these issues and submitted a report which has gathered dust, which government has taken it seriously, including AP, UPA and also NDA. It has not even taken cognizance into that until Rohit Vemula institutional murder. So therefore, immediately UGC comes out with saying that, look, no, let us have an anti-discrimination officer in the university system. And who are these anti-discrimination officers? These anti-discrimination officers who doesn't even know the definition of discrimination. I can openly challenge. I can openly challenge about the appointment of these, you know, discrimination officers who becomes ultimately the stooges of the institution. They don't want to speak at all. Now, I picked up five universities, sorry, uh, uh, five universities uh, uh, based on metropolitan cities, centers, and five are located in smaller cities across the country. The sample size is 600 students, consisting of 60 students from each university with detailed data analysis and selected case narratives. This research, the research is based on in-depth face-to-face interviews. And, you know, I mean, I went on adopting, you know, different kind of, you know, uh, uh, in fact, you know, methods. And uh, the sample selected is, uh, are not homogeneous, though they are SC students. They are different region, language, economic status, subcaste, and gender, including subcaste, I took it. Because, you know, it is not that, you know, discrimination within scheduled caste doesn't happen. It happens. So therefore, I also took this subcast into consideration to see that, you know, how this happened, you know, how this is, you know, being, you know, uh, 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 practiced. Apart this, you know, detailed field study, the study also analyzes government reports, caste problems in the campuses, secondary literature, and, you know, you know, as I said, from 1971, I also used blogs, you know, even, you know, the print and audio visual uh, material to, you know, uh, 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 to document this, you know, work. So the purpose of this study is to reflect on the social psychology and the everyday semiotics of exclusion of scheduled caste students in these selected universities. I kept university names as fictitious. And you know that, you know, I mean, how 
not because i am scared because you know the sample and many other things you know the respondents might face problems and you know a clever person will easily understood when they read the book which are the institutions that i am i meant for maybe maybe two three state universities other than that you know one can easily make out and um, uh, to probe the multi layered forms and medium of exclusion discrimination and humiliation whether it is direct or indirect intended or unintended consciously or subconsciously done and also seeks to study seeks to study those which are practiced institutionally structurally or aided by socially superior communities in this academy the technique of interpretative phenomenological analysis i also came across with this method when i was working on this book so partly i also used this to uh, map the uh, case narratives i picked up you know 15 cases as you know case narratives and also i picked up from live wire live wire comes out very with very interesting you know column campus lives so i also picked up some you know uh, narratives from live wire and then i added to 22 22 you know case narratives as a chapter and then i was wondering that you know what happens if this you know only data is there you know how do we write so therefore i approached you no know, few sociologists and i asked that you know is please suggest one or two readings about you know the student suicides you know they said no therefore i felt so upset and i i came out with a chapter in this so this book contains you know six chapters and also this suicides one chapter on suicides i have covered you know i mean six i think yeah six you know suicides you know including the aims and then rohit vemla pile card we uh, uh, you know suicides how then <clears throat> the first generation dalit learners negotiate university spaces bereft bereft of any positive role models something akin to gloria steinem's remarks in her book the revolution within wherein she points out that for women in her generation who attended university could attain academic excellence even as the male centric curriculum undermines their self esteem the epistemic semantic mechanism that keeps people in their place is still strong our marketplaces schools and cultural institutions tend to teach us to listen and follow the privileged people in power mai jo bol raha hu wohi suno mai jo bol raha hu mai jo keh raha hu wohi knowledge hai yahan pe hum sunne ke liye nahi hai sunane ke liye hai many professors they feel this still feel this as if that knowledge is there किसी का उनका बाप का जागीरी है किसी दूसरा लोगों का जागीरी नहीं है ओके लिसन टू एंड फॉलो द प्रिवलेज पीपल इन पावर डायरेक्टली और सजेस्टिवली वी आर टॉट नॉट टू लिसन टू ए कॉमन मैन विमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन एटलीस्ट नॉट टू हियर दे टॉक एज ए वैलिड लैंग्वेज और डिस्कोर्स and we know we see that how stem courses and humanities and social science has sharp differences when it comes to these issues of discrimination and exclusion now i would like to bring you the five to six sign spots of sign spots of discrimination i am not going to explain everything uh, uh, in fact you know i mean i took only 20% of data to come out with this book you know still 80% of data is lying you know that probably i might come out with Uh, another uh, work probably and i don't know if some publisher uh, you know encourages me you know after all these you know scathing critique entrance you know there are few spaces like you know i mean entrance viva exam language and fellowships where what happens where these you know discrimination you know happens you know suppose you know if a dalit student comes into the institutional mechanism from admissions i'm not talking about you know all such sort of minor you know things you know from the end from their admission process till they go out you know i mean there is a huge tussle there is a huge you know tension that you know happens in every dalit you know life in the spaces this study as i said you know i mean 600 samples i would like to briefly you know uh, talk about you know the viva the data which i would like to mention and then i'll uh, 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 what field you know talks about you know and then i'll come to some kind of you know possible 
you know, remedies about, you know, how to uh, address this problem. In the, in the in, when, when it comes to the VIVA, this study comprised of where 600 respondents, out of which 188 are female uh, respondents, 101 female, uh, uh, 101, out of this 188, 101 female students were lucid that VIVA is extremely discriminatory. 58 female students said that they never came across any such discrimination. There are few students who did not face and one needs to look into the background, the cultural capital of that students. Okay, you know, so, you know, how the rest of the girls students could not comment as they were not yet to face, you know, the Viva interview because they are from, you know, post-graduation, you know, background or, you know. So out of 266 male students agreed that, out of 600, 266 male students agreed that they faced discrimination during Viva, while 104 denied any inequity in viva and we can easily go back and see about you know what happened in jnu and how this 100 percent of you know the you know uh, uh, viva you know which will be in the hands of the selection committee has been challenged in the court and you know even in jnu you know progressive institutions like jnu where you know you will get only two marks for your viva you know, you have, you know, I mean, uh, 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 all kinds of, you know, debates and discussions, you know, happens and but, you know, these things could not be, you know, uh, seriously addressed. Uh, I would like to add, you know, with this data, some few comments that how people used to say, or even the teachers, you know, including this is not only, you know, the peer group, but also the teachers who are involved in this kind of, you know, discriminatory pattern or, you know, uh, practices. A respondent, I'm to quote a respondent. Yes, sometimes they ask very weird questions and they make you feel humiliated. Discuss wo, wo area hai nahi hai. Wo and, they, the, and, and they ask, you know, what is your parents? You know, why do you want to know about your parents? In my own department, once I challenged a professor saying that, please stop this nonsense asking about, you know, which college you come from, whether you are a first class student or not. I said, please do the interview first. Don't ask about all these things. You know, it amounts towards to favorism. I said he or she is here to be interviewed and you're not supposed to. Then I said, I'll give you a hundred reasons that why this is not supposed to be asked. You are from St. Stephen's College. Oh, then your preconceived notion of merit comes into your mind. And you are from somewhere, Srami Sraddhanand College. Achha, theek hai, ye peripherally hai. You know, wo hindi mein baat karta hai, usko chodi dijiye. And it operates. You know, operated, you know, I mean, in fact, I am the one who stopped this, you know, thing in the department itself. I don't survey about talking about my own department. And they say that, you know, the same student says mostly faculty is from general category in order to restrain their supremacy, they discriminate against scheduled caste students. Yes, upper caste, then another, you know, comment. Yes, upper caste teachers have a lot of prejudices in their mind. When Dalit students come to the education institutions, the fear of losing their spaces and the idea of equality and untouch with untouchables is, a, is an embarrassment for them. Many people say that, you know, I mean, when Mandal Commission, uh, this thing happened, you know, many in Vuma Chakravarti's work, you know, we come across that we don't want unemployed husbands, you know, play card, pocket, ke wo ghumta raha. When SC students enter the Viva premises, only SC faculty, at times, you know, Achha, ye hamara nahi hai, wohi khudi puchega. SC student, SC student aaya to, sab chup baitega. Uska SC faculty hai, wohi puchenge. Wohi puchenge. I find this is also another form of discrimination that only SC faculty is asking questions to only SC students. As if that questioning is also completely categorized based on their caste background. And now you see that more increasingly the ideological battle comes into the interview process. And I am told the surveillance, I'm, I asked also surveillance in this, you know, whether administration, how they keep surveillance on the activists or students. No, it is completely that, you know, you have been Googled, your, your Facebook, your, your social accounts has been Googled before you have been interviewed. Instructions has been given to the office that saying that, look, 
you look into the background of this candidate who are they and then scuttle their you know uh, chances then they the other you know the cast faculty laugh at us and say how these people are able to get jrf when they don't even know how to speak english these are the comments which are very you know very loosely you know used against uh, 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 dalit students no ye inko kaise mil gaya yaar jrf kahan se aa gaya ye they indicate and also i mean there are many other things which i really don't want to get in but the fellowships is one another important sign post you know this where you know this is the thing where you know it really disturbs at least 78% of respondents said that they face problems when they go when they get fellowships till they 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 get all kinds of paperwork done okay the comments that you need to listen from administration that's what you were mentioning about you know their their you know they they the way you know one of the respondent who got you know net phd you know fellowship and then you know eventually the candidate got icssr fellowship and then in the process you know again you know the candidate got ugc fellowship for scheduled caste students and when the candidate was moving from one fellowship to other fellowship you must see the language of administration that you know as if that they are completely taking over the resources are aap logon ko kaise mil jaye milta hai aise itna fellowships pura dusra logon ko opportunity aap log kha raha hai this is the language which is being used by the administ you know the the insensitive administrators and uh i i i just would like to give you some more data about that and then uh, the anxious side of confrontation of dalit students in academia was the thorny issue of fellowships and scholarship this study found the majority of the dalit students 457 out of the 600 samples depend uh, uh, depends on various kinds of scholarships so no scholarships they cannot survive now there the minister's comment comes in here from 1971 post this you know iits you know issue which i did mention about it it starts from the scholarship the problem starts from the scholarship in iits and then now till much recently much recently couple of years before the post metro fellow scholarships has been completely you know withdrawn money and there was a lot of pressure from the civil society that look you cannot take you know a uh, 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 withdraw from completely post metric scholarship therefore the the present government again you know release the grants towards to this what is happening in punjab university today is something to do with the post metric scholarship and sendil kumar who committed suicide or it can be called as an institutional murder his fellowship was stopped and his based on his fellowship he was rearing he is come he come from a very you know marginalized background pig rearing communities okay he asked the parents to stop to not to do that you know uh, work and then therefore you know his fellowship is stopped precisely because in the pretext of that you know universities comes with innovative ideas how to prevent these people you no know, language you know you introduce a you know a, a, an examination for language text skills and then therefore this boy was failed twice in the language and he was not promoted and his fellowship was stopped and what happens in iits as preparatory classes whether you come from whatever the background i mean uh, 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 class background you come from every sc students is mandatory for sc students to go and attend the preparatory classes and this girl who came yesterday with all her data observation you know who is doing her you know phd in one of the universities she said that out of 20 students whom she has interacted till now not even a single student got 7% cgp 7% or more than cgp which determines their future out of 20 and where only three women candidates was there and completely the women candidates they said that you know i mean it is it is impossible to you know argue with the established faculties within these institutions anyway and the uh, uh, uh like you know rajiv gandhi fellowship once upon a time and interestingly one researcher said 
ये भी फेलोशिप का नाम भी पॉलिटिक्स है पहले राजीव गांधी फेलोशिप का था नाम तब इट बिकम लाइक यू नो फेलोशिप फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट अगेन री ओम्पोजिंग दी कास्ट आइडेंटिटी नो यू 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 कम फ्रॉम दिस फेलोशिप बैकग्राउंड and the name has been changed you know this has been mentioned you know we were not able to you know figure out and then uh, this respondent said that sir dekhiye politics pichle sarkar ne unko wo rajiv gandhi fellowship naam diya abhi is sarkar ne usko badal ke fellowship for scheduled caste students you no know, rakh diya the one student pointingly highlighted there is a difference between getting jrf and rgnf jrf is considered yeah as merit but rgnf is considered as charity see the difference between the fellowships also merit and charity wahan pe to examination likh ke aaya ye rajiv gandhi fellowship jo hai ya wo to application de raha tha wo proposal de raha tha wo ho raha tha and interestingly hyderabad university my within quotes alma mater which introduces comes out with innovative ideas that has happened a role model for you know the ugc to adopt that model the university of hyderabad professors meritorious professors within courts they started thinking about how to scuttle the these students who come with these kind of you know charity fellowships and what they did they said no matter whether you come through jrf or rgnf you have to write entrance because university can decide its own pattern now anyway that's a different thing so that has become a policy of ugc at later on everybody need to write a entrance okay so therefore at every level you are trying to scuttle you are trying to you know you know limit the entry of these you know students who really want to come and you know get into these educational institutions where public institutions are under deep crisis and in fact if you ask me honestly i can say that the survival of public institutions on the face of the state is precisely because of scheduled caste scheduled tribe and the obc students these public institutions are surviving otherwise the entire higher education is into the private you know things now private hands now so th then upper caste students get merit scholarship and scs get government scholarships as a respondent observed till students were availing jrf attendance was not compulsory interesting minute things and now when uh, sc students and many other students are getting fellowship aapka thumb impression padna wahan pe sign karna jaake department okay so attendance become compulsory and therefore you know how attendance is also stage managed everyone knows about it okay however since dalit students are getting rgnf there is more surveillance on their activities there is a regular attendance and even monthly reports are required if they fail to comply by these rules the supervisor and hod might withhold signing their fellowship forms you know best thing is aap aapka progress dikhaiye and whenever there is a protest and the supervisors will be immediately contacted by the administration saying that hey aapka आपका स्टूडेंट आके यहां पे परेशान कर रहा है उसको थोड़ा सा लाइन में रखो यही है दिस इज हाउ यू नो दिस इज हाउ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ एंगेजिंग विद द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द कंसर्न्स दिस इज हाउ द सर्वेलेंस इज हैपनिंग द सर्वेलेंस इज हैपनिंग ओके ए क्यूरियस ग्लैंस एट द स्टोरीज ऑफ सुसाइड ड्रॉप आउट्स ऑन द कैंपसेस वुड रिवील दैट डिनाइल विथड्रॉयल ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप वाज अ पोटेंट वेपन टू डिसिप्लिन द डिविएंट बॉडीज बोथ बाय the teachers and supervisors and administrators the other third important you know uh, thing classroom is classroom a democratic space okay it is not at all when i asked the question that who perpe the perpetuators perpetuators of discrimination in the classroom 381 because you know there is a multiple responses a person can be discriminated by an upper caste male student or a obc girl student okay so there is there are responses you know with multiple you know ways so 381 students said that with 34.5% 
upper caste students discriminate them interestingly when medium comes in 217% uh, sorry 217 responses they said that english medium students they discriminate this you know uh, uh, students then you know i am not giving all other uh, this thing but the backward caste students you know the students who face discrimination within the caste hierarchy also perpetuate caste discrimination so the backward caste students 93 responses which we got that they also said that you know the the respondents said that they also face you know discrimination from other backward caste students 33 students from scheduled caste background they said that they face discrimination from their own sub caste students like you know dalit mahadalit mala madiga you know other these kind of you know sub caste identities okay i'll finish it within 5 10 minutes okay yeah i'll wind up so many things but you know so classroom become a battleground the peer group and the teacher you know respond you know the way how teacher you know the student relationships is completely obnoxious you know also i've got many of my personal you know encounters from student towards to a professor in delhi university i also bought certain nuances of my own personal experiences to add okay a, a political theory teacher which i really don't want to bring here but i just want to bring that when i was master student the professor in hyderabad university gave me four marks where which right now i am teaching in delhi university that's a different matter when i asked this teacher that bhai ye kya isme kya problem hai wo bolta hai very aaram se bolta hai ye to dekhiye grammar language i said content to hai na wahan pe there is a content हाँ वो भी ऐसे वैसे लिखा आई सेड यू नो हेल्प यूर मार्क्स आई सेड हेल्प यूर मार्क्स आई वॉज गिवन ओनली फोर मार्क्स इन पोलिटिकल थीरी इन डिड आई हैव रिटर्न इन मेनी यू नो कपल ऑफ पेपर सॉन्ग्स यू नो हाउ टीचर्स दे डिस्क्रिमिनेट स्टूडेंट्स नो दे हैव टाइम फॉर फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स दे डोंट हैव टाइम फॉर अदर स्टूडेंट्स those who speak good english those who come from bureaucratic background those who come from politics polit political background influenceable background they fine you know for them they have time but others they don't have time the last component and i'll come out with you know research supervisors campus predators horrifying stories you should listen i mean all narratives which i had given i don't want to give all those stories एग्जामिनिंग आंसर शीट्स ये किसका काम है टीचर का काम है ना तीन लाख चार लाख कमा रहा है ना टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी एट रेस्पॉन्डेंट रेस्पॉन्सेस कम्स सेइंग दैट सुपरवाइजर्स यूज टू एग्जामिन द मार्क आंसर आंसर शीट्स लेट गवर्नमेंट थिंक एच आर डी थिंक अबाउट इट इफ एट ऑल इट इज सीरियस अबाउट इट टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी नाइन रेस्पॉन्सेस दे सेट दैट देर सुपरवाइजर्स to do their domestic work bacche ko wahan pe ja ke chhodna ha sabzi leke aana car saaf karna car mein wo pura wo sajaye karna bag uthana shamelessly my my own university you can see that you know people can't even carry their bags by the time supervisor comes suddenly there will be a big assembly assembling you know there in front of the car and everyone will feel will you know picking up you know there is a status caste status also there you know khana serve karna ye sab niche jati log niche jati matlab i am not for for as you know it is being expressed you know ye kaam karta hai seminar mein academic kaam karna wo uchai jati log there is a clear cut you know binary among the scholars among the students who is being given task to what to do by these supervisors and horrifying thing is 218 respondents or responses came out saying that there is a serious sexual harassment in the by the supervisors sympathy gain karna stories bolna you know surveillance you no know, all kinds of you know tamasha there are scheduled caste supervisors also couple of scheduled caste supervisors who respondents who said that you know including scheduled caste teachers also and couple of teachers who exploited you know it is not that you know i mean only other <laughs> okay respondents openly came out that you know there is a scheduled caste teacher who exploits us by the of course you know 
only scheduled caste students being exploited, not others. Again, you can see the, you know, the, you know, there, you know, the binary. Anyway, and uh, body shaming, 180 response, uh, responses, gaining emotional sympathy from the scholar, 169 responses, exploiting, stealing the data, you know, Deepa Mohanan's case, much recently Kerala that Deepa Mohanan went on her hunger strike, supervisor, you know, you know, it's completely, you know, that, you know, her data has been, you know, stolen, her fellowship has been stopped, she went to protest in front of, you know, governor, and then, you know, governor completely, you know, I mean, there was security, police cases, everything, you know, it's the best case, what one can, you know, see that, you know, I mean, a number of, you know, strategies has been used by the administration to prevent her. Now, there are many things, you know, hostels, inter and intra group discrimination, peer group, faculty, campus, you know, the general campus life, all kinds of things, which I don't want to get in, but now there is a problem. And then how do we address this problem? So what to be done? Now, this book talks about a number of issues. Maybe, you know, if you get some time, the sad, sad thing is that till now, I also didn't get the book. Okay. And before the book comes into the market, the soft copy started getting, you know, circulated and I have represented this to publisher also, but publisher also doesn't have any control now, I guess, probably, you know, many people are, you know, sharing this anyway, it hardly matters because you know, at times, you know, 12,000 rupees, which, which uh, ordinary Dalit student cannot afford. So let it be, I mean, I don't care at all. So what to be done? There are many things, you know, uh, uh, narratives and stories and stories of discrimination. Lastly, what need to be done is to cultivate the radical empathy. That is very important. Yes, there is a problem, a serious problem. And when these problems are persisting, apart the policies or whatever it is being happening or whatever is there, at the institutional mechanism, what need to be done more? Most teachers lose sight of the fact that the classroom is a space riff with histories of histories embodied in the subjectives of students. An education that strives to make it make its students into questioning subjects runs the risk of challenging traditional norms. Any student, you know, questioning, you know, you know, how do why do you think that you know some student asking you a question on caste? No, caste becomes a, no, you can't use, you know, you know, you can't do research on caste studies now because, you know, funding has been completely, you know, stopped. No, you know, you do Panchayati Raj or you do some other thing, you will get funding, but don't do any study on caste, discrimination. New education policy is the best example, which has not even mentioned about discrimination, not even in a single space. As if that this doesn't, it is not happening. Perhaps more important than transact, uh, uh, transacting the prescribed syllabus is the holding and containing the presence of peers and teachers who can listen, empathize, and offer themselves as a reliable non-competitive circle of care. Care is very important. What is essential is a humane classroom where intellectual discourse on transformative politics are accompanied by an authentic reception of the subject to life of each student. If we don't care about our students student is a student rather whatever it may be the category why we don't extend that care a professor who is supposed to give a recommendation letter to the student without asking the caste cannot give sometimes are kaun sa jaat se tum acha ye baat pehle kyun nahi bola baitho 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 recommendation letter ke liye gaye to jaat puchta hai The last point which I would like to mention here is that the second requirement is an institutional administration that keenly receives and values students as growing adults and valid positions, even when they sometimes challenge the established institution positions. An administration that is not afraid of students or of going beyond the letter of the rule in exceptional circumstances and one which encourages dialogue across difficult issues goes on, goes a long way in fostering self-confidence in its students, you know. So, so what is wrong in di discussing with the students? You see them as anti-social elements. You know, this Punjab University, that's what I would like to again, you know, come back. Three weeks, there is complete failure of the, you know, coordination between the government, between the institution and between the students. 
what is wrong to have a dialogue what is you you can't just simply no when it comes to dalit students you want to rule uh, run through rule but if it is something else someone else you go beyond rule and do the things you can't do that what are requisite what are requisite or definite programs which analyze the reasons for sc st obc students dropping out of the elite institutions and seek to ameliorate sir uh, seek to ameliorate the situation the annual rankings of institutions based on placements alumni research projects faculty publications these are all very important no ranking ke liye a grade b grade shamelessly our colleges or universities they want to get this ranking but they don't want to talk about these things they they have a ragging policy you know it's a criminal act what is necessary is that you know why don't you make this caste discrimination as a criminal act punish aparao who is still escaping you know from the hands you know where you know who who is responsible for this uh, rohit vemulas you know uh, institutional murder so different forms of discrimination and harassment and non implementation of reservations can't it be the kahi pe bhi bahut log yahan pe bhi aapko mila ho hoga भाई कितना कितना आप लोग पोजीशन फिल किया कितना स्टूडेंट्स को ले रहा है जो भी है क्या ये ये क्राइटेरिया नहीं है आपका वो जो वो जो नैक का वो जो बनाने में ये नहीं है दिस क्राइट थिंग्स आर नॉट बीइंग कंसीडर्ड एज द क्राइटेरिया आइरोनिकली द लास्टली एनईपी फेसिलिटेट्स मल्टीपल एग्जिट पॉलिसी इन द नेम ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी मोर रैम्पेंट नाउ विथ न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी it is going to be more rampant that the dropouts and one way of pushing the majority of scsc students to withdraw from formal education is to deny them you know all kinds of you know spaces lot of things are there but i but i was not able to you know do much justice for you know uh, narratives are there you know there are many things but uh, thank you very much again uh, nishikant that you know you asked me to come and speak thank you my dear colleagues and you know students who are here uh, and who bared this you know uh, thing you know <laughs> uh yeah thank you so much mm. uh, thank you professor and sukumar for very thought provoking and even brave lecture and i think you are you your concerns uh, you express your concern very clearly and i think they are communicated very well and uh, uh, yes you could not cover lot of thing which uh, you have uh, written in your book and i think some of you might have felt some uh, some amount of anger in uh, professor uh, sukumar's lecture and i think uh, uh, the basis of his anger is his book actually when i read his book i was also uh, very angry uh, because i saw from uh, uh, vidya sagar uh, to bipin chandra uh, to Be andre betre everyone is opposing the entry of uh, schedule ka salute tribe student in the universe university state is indifferent Uh, even the students are discriminated on the basis of writing their name in the register the way the name uh, in uh, their attendance register is written in allotment of uh, their hostel rooms uh, uh, and uh, allotment of supervisor and even the schedule cast teachers are also discriminating so this Uh, and the other data he collected from um, fr through RTI and other secondary sources also says that there. So it's a very, very sad, uh, very um, sad picture. It presents a very sad picture of the university, and it really uh, uh, students, especially come from the scheduled caste family, get very angry. But what I uh, very humbly I uh, I I want to submit only one point. that it would have been little better i i believe uh, it uh, if it also add some hope i think uh, i believe the picture is not as dark as uh, the book says uh, i i believe there should be some story of hope uh, there some student also got some um, some good response from the help from their supervisor uh, some peer groups and they achieve some uh, good thing in their life with the with the help of their friends uh, institutions 
the the way they were groomed up in particular department institute with the help of supervisor so it 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 will all the book will also bring kind of hope that there is a uh, there is a hope also otherwise and i think uh, there should be little bit also about the future possibility i think you may, uh, made some point in the lecture but i i if i might have missed in the book so there is no future map about what we supposed to do uh, if this picture uh, this if it is the situation is so dark and diff difficult with this few remark uh, i put uh, open flow for the question if you have question please uh, ask is your raise your hand Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your interesting and very important uh, deliberation on caste in Indian universities. Just uh, two aspects. I mean, you may have seen, but need your commentary on that. One, how do you look at uh, various privatization models within universities, not outside public universities, but within private public universities, like self-financing courses, HIFA model, or uh, uh, mobilize your own resources. So, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and this is not happening in name of privatization, but this is happening to mobilize your resources per se. So this one. Second, did you also look at caste and religion? I mean, intertwining aspect of caste and religion in discrimination. These are the two submissions. Hello, sir. My name is Jitendra. Sir, my question is, यूनिवर्सिटी और स्कूल वगैरह में कास्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन होता है और जहाँ पे एक तरह से समानता या जस्टिस का पास जो सिखाया जाता है वहाँ पे इस तरीके के जातिगत भेदभाव होता है आखिर ऐसे कौन सी जगह है जहाँ दलित अपने आप को सेफ महसूस करे यस सर या Uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, uh, I have a, you know, uh, I'm just thinking aloud and uh, uh, because we are also thinking of solutions that we need to, you know, uh, come up with. I'm wondering, uh, and it's a question uh, for all of us to reflect upon. Why isn't there an equivalent of Me Too kind of campaign, uh, you know, uh, as far as discrimination, caste discrimination is concerned? This is something that we need to, you know, think about. Because I think it has worked a bit uh, uh, as far as you know, gender discrimination and harassment is concerned. I, I feel so. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 you please. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> the positive side also I have written, uh, but not so much so. See, when I proposed the title, the, uh, the publisher had a problem for their own reason, for their own. But it was a kind of, you know, slightly discouraging me. You know? I proposed the title Gate Crashing into Grukuls, the title which I had given to them. They said, no, 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 you can't have this title. You can have this as a subtitle or some other kind of thing rather than you need to have caste discrimination and uh, exclusion uh, as Indian universities, you know, so something. So somewhere there, you know, I mean, the, the uh, so then they suggested a critical reflection after, you know, having a brief uh, engagement on the uh, manuscript, they said, no, it, it, let it be a critical reflection. Okay, so therefore majority, major book is on the forms of discrimination and, uh, you know, exclusion, uh, but, Yes, when I asked certain questions, it is there, you know, I mean, who supports you? And you know, there are certain pro progressive teachers who still feel that there is some humanity is left and therefore they address uh, the problems. But okay, you know, I'll keep this in my mind. In fact, the questionnaire also contains this kind of, you know, this thing probably in future I would, you know, really bring, you know, yes, you know, we, there are still some, you know, there are still students are, you know, they are able to survive 
in these institutions precisely because there is some kind of support structure. Okay, no doubt in that, including the Brahminical teachers. Okay, and one needs to acknowledge about it, you know, publicly. Okay, so therefore, you know, for whatever may be the reasons which they claim that we are supporting SC students, but still there are some, you know, faculty in the university spaces who really, you know, come in rescue whenever such things happen. Suddenly a supervisor drops saying that, no, I will not supervise. Then what will happen? There are, there is another teacher who, you know, accepts and, you know, you know, submits the thesis. Okay. There are, you know, positive stories also. Okay. Now, this, I would really, you know, this is a very interesting suggestion, you know, a future possibility to address the problems. Like, for example, you know, as I suggested, you know, uh, Professor Thorat, I'm in continuous, you know, uh, uh, in fact, there is a PIL that has been filed in Supreme Court that, you know, uh, but there is nothing much is happening on this. After Pail Tadvi's, you know, the Pail Tadvi issue and, you know, Rohit Vemula's issue, the legal kind of, you know, intervention. And, you know, the only prop, this thing that can be addressed to some extent is that, you know, the legal concern. When I asked that, you know, uh, uh, Rohit Vemula, the act uh, to be named or, you know, that some kind of legal uh, 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 intervention, majority of the students said that, yes, it is necessary. The legal you know, law is necessary to prevent this discrimination. Okay. So therefore, not only that, as you know, I mean, um, Ravi uh, 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 was mentioning about, you know, you know, how do you build a, you know, con, you know uh, an empathy among the peer group? That is very important. You know? So the, you know, groups that which they form uh, uh, to come and then, you know, addressing, in fact, you know, Ravi's question that, you know, I mean, campaign on caste discrimination, there is a young lawyer, Disha Vadekar, and they have a campaign and they have a campaign and they, you know, any such things can be, you know, brought to, you know, their uh, uh, intervention. Uh, but again, it is in a still budding, you know, uh, kind of, you know, thing. So anything, you know, this thing is very important where it comes to, you know, uh, this as, uh, 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 as what happened in Me Too, you know, this thing. And uh, there are some, you know, uh, uh, interventions are happening now, probably in another, you know, where, where public institutions is under deep crisis, maybe it might, you know, come up, you know. So it is a very important thing that how peer group coming together and standing with a person who is experiencing discrimination, okay, uh, rather than, uh, because, you know, completely they can't go back and uh, rely on their, you know, uh, their parents, you know. So within the institution, there need to be some kind of, you know, uh, uh, mechanism that need to be developed, you know, and um, uh, this question, you know, that, you know, Mahsus ka jo hai, you know, Dalit, you know, identity, you know, uska jo hai, you know, uh, you know, yes, there is a problem, you know, like there is a problem and this problem is being aggravated by the other rather than, you know, addressing the problem and reducing the, uh, the this, you know, identity, Dalit identity, caste identity, okay, you know, our, you know, uh, uh, people openly say that, you know, I mean, ye to Dalit hai, inko seat mil jayega, ye government ka damat hai, thik hai, ye to Ambedkar wale hai ko, jaru, kya, wo fellowship mili jayega, ye to Phuket mein kaana kha raha hai. These are the things which is being, you know, complete. So your identity is being reimposed by the other. So somewhere that, you know, I mean, it is being very humiliating and, you know, and that question is also there, you know, I mean, how, you know, quota chela, ye to quota se aaya. Ye, wo bolta hai, ek jaga mein mein likha, wo maharashtra mein jo hua. Acha, ye, sir, SC category admission, sab log baiht hai maha pe. Wo bolta hai, sir, application SC category. And you have to get up and go in front of everybody. Team. This problem, that is very important, yeah. One last, acha, then, uh, yeah, private, Dhananjay, coming to this, your uh, university, journalism course, who can afford it? When I once I went to deliver a lecture there, uh, caste and, you know, journalism, you know, that uh, media, not even a single student is ready to buy about the argument on uh, reservations. Everybody is opposing, you know. So the, 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 again, you know, I mean, who can afford, you know, money uh, up now, Last year, Delhi University colleges, they have increased fees like anything. The UGC has given a free ride to the colleges, you know, I mean, so how many SC students can afford, you know, in a very, again, within quotes, you know, very, you know, like Miranda House. Ek sapna hai na, Miranda House. Huh? Stephen's, Jesus and Mary, 
वहां पे कितना ऐसे एस टी बच्चे जाके पढ़ेगा पढ़ा रहा है तो भी वो लोग पूरा आई एस ऑफिसर्स का बेटा बेटी वो जा सकते इन द नेम ऑफ कास्ट आइडेंटिटी अगेन यू नो मेन रिजर्वेशन दे विल गो एंड दे विल एनक्रोच इन टू द सीट्स नॉट rather than you know giving that opportunity to someone else so it is happening and it is eventually is going to happen completely higher education is in deep crisis this government is completely cutting down and there is nothing wrong to openly say this okay and uh, so therefore you know you are you you are you see humanity social sciences अब नैनो कोर्सेस स्टेम कोर्सेस कौन पढ़ेगा इसमें वो भी दिया मैंने डेटा सेकंड चैप्टर द एंटायर यू नो सेकंड चैप्टर स्पीक्स अबाउट हमारा हिस्सा कहां है वेर इज माय शेयर इन दिस एंटायर यू नो टेन इयर्स डेटा आई हैव गिवन दैट यू नो हाउ मेनी एससी स्टूडेंट्स यू नो टीचर्स आर बीइंग यू नो रिक्रूटेड और यू नो स्टूडेंट्स आर बीइंग टेकन इन कॉमर्स साइंसेस यू नो डिफरेंट कोर्सेस एंड देयर आर सम कोर्सेस वेयर नॉट इवन अ सिंगल एससी कैंडिडेट हैज बीन टेकन इन फ्यू कोर्सेस यू नो वेरी Uh, uh, there are many courses where not even a single SC student has been taken in. Okay, so so now completely, you know, now paisa hai, padho. Paisa nahi, jaake skill course karo. Skill course, you know that you know you drop yourself, jaao kuch mechanic bano. Tumara halat wahi wo wo hai wo apka jo karna hai wohi wohi hai. And it is being valorized and romanticized. Yeah, caste and religious that is very important. Yes, among Dalit Christians and Dalit Hindus. okay there are there is a discrimination suppose in the social media i have written that i mean so one respondent said that you know hum christmas greetings bheja to group mein bolta hai nahi nahi aapka religion yahan pe spread mat karo and uh, a dalit hindu is more privileged than uh, dalit uh, christian or a dalit uh, muslim when it comes to administration approach you know teachers approach you know all these things there is the religious religion factor which plays a very dubious role you know uh, uh, when it comes to you know caste discrimination so uh, uh, i wrote one narrative one student narrative that a christian women narrative that in fact i am working on that now you know that you know uh, three christian respondents narrative that how you know religious minorities within the campus how do they feel you know very threatened about within the category forget about others within the category among scheduled caste hindus they face worst victim i mean uh, humiliation forget about others are ye to aap wo alag hai hum alag hai ha that's the thing so this this is very important you know in fact we dealt we dealt about you know that you know issue in that i think you are audible speak yeah. <laughs> thank you uh, <clears throat> thank you professor uh, sukumar narayan uh, i was uh, uh, because uh, i was wondering uh, the question that you are dealing with and then primarily it's not only it appears to me at least from your talk that it is not only about discrimination as such but its consequences as well so uh, have you ever uh, Uh, or is this book also talk about uh, these issues not only from the perspective of say sociology or uh, the institutional uh, design etc of it but also from the perspective of mental health issues uh, because that is something which is itself under recognized or uh, in fact non not socially stigmatized thing in itself even if we exclude the caste question and if this question of uh, mental illness is combined with the question of or the problem of caste so obviously the results would be disastrous yeah, yeah. in all its manifestations so whether at all you have looked into this uh, question or dealt with it or especially from the mental illness perspective yes yeah for should i respond or should i pick up one more question raga you want to ask something uh, i want to share that my personal experience okay yeah use that because it is being recorded so sir uh, i was there in buddhist department delhi university a few days back uh, for my pali classes and uh, it was my first day there actually so i was interacting with a student and uh, i had already gone through the ms syllabus of uh, buddhist studies there you know just a glance 
and i saw there you know ambedkar's navyana buddhism it was clubbed with a few other thinkers and it was you know just there as a novelty act and i questioned him about it and he said you know ambedkar might have had uh, something to do with buddhism but buddhism has nothing to do with ambedkar mm-hmm. and you know and then sir mentioned about your book being included in uh, refresher material so sir isn't this a form of discrimination where experiences of marginalized communities are not represented in the ca- academy or just you know reduced to the sidelines yeah okay uh, yeah uh, uh, i'll respond to this yeah. and then yeah to the your question uh, that uh consequences you know i mean uh, that's what you know i mean i have done it the book in fact but i haven't used much in this book uh see i what i did i asked uh, uh, the the teachers and students you know who feel more you know what would be your env- uh, what would be your response when you face discrimination are you feeling you know i mean do you feel that you are excluded you are envious you are happy you are sad or you are you know completely you know you know uh, 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 been you know uh, so we did mapped about the psychology what happens consequences you know they say that no we we keep we 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 we, we keep ourselves silent you know we we want to take revenge you know this all these things has been mapped but unfortunately because of the size volume and you know other things which i haven't done it but all 600 students data is there that what the, the questions like you know how do you feel when you get discriminated by your classmates so how do you respond towards to that and one student you know in the last part of my questionnaire also talks about that you know then what what is your future they say that no we struggled a lot to reach to this level so therefore we will complete our and they said that many of them they aspire for becoming an officers they said that no i want to become a, an officer to address my own community problems okay so the consequential effects both positive and negative impact is there on them the idea of stigma as a quota child is there and this stigma is influencing them yes in both positive side and negative side there are stories which like for example you know the politics of presence and the politics of silence which i did mention it uh, uh, if not because you know this book is you know it is very limited volume for that matter. that's what i said 20% of the data only i used but i did asked about all these consequential effects of exclusion and then as you write that you know if it comes into the picture that becomes more you know uh, 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 interesting you know kind of you know, thing and then also many of the students they started self actualization okay i am here and i need to do this therefore i will not go okay many students said that i will finish my degree whatever it may be okay and they took support of different organizations within the campus uh dalit student organizations ambedkar student organizations also some other you know progressive organizations which are working on these issues okay so these are there is a positive you know impact of uh, such kind of you know uh, uh, actual self actualization process okay now when it comes to your question raga yes you know i mean see why you know buddhist department why buddhist department when you know the own political science department when i introduced kanche ilayas books into the courses in my own department that there was a huge you know hue and cry you know in delhi university you know academic uh, uh, council mein okay you know this is nothing but you know i mean how the issues of discrimination and exclusion the courses which i introduced was under surveillance probably again it will come because you know indian political thought course has been revised okay you know you you know you want to bring your baggage into that you know so so you know marginalized groups and their subject is never been debated okay the the shabd dalit jo hai they don't want to use and then i did a in fact in round table india i wrote a paper that you know i mean how many universities and how many sil- different university syllabuses uh, where they are using this word dalit you know the government comes out with a circular saying that you should not use the word dalit so therefore you know the you and cry happens you know so you know the dominant knowledge system needs to be accepted finally but we are all not here to accept that as a knowledge system so therefore the challenging you know i mean the the challenging is very important so you want to teach brahaspati you want to teach shukraniti then i said sir 
ऐसे है तो हम तिरुवल्वा और पढ़ाएंगे ऐसे सर हम बसवन्ना को पढ़ाएंगे अब क्या होगा अगले इसी में देखना पड़ेगा सो दिस इज हाउ Sir, I yeah. very much appreciated your uh, point about radical empathy, uh, you, which you said is a uh, is a means to cut through a lot of uh, habitual uh, prejudice that uh, is directed at at Dalits. Um, I was just wondering if there could be a way. to think about radical empathy um, so that that empathy can be extended uh, across different uh, communities that are yeah. targets of discrimination so there's caste based discrimination minority religious minorities are discriminated against um tribals and adivasi groups are discriminated against basically anything other than community savarna uh, you know groups uh, face some sort of exclusion discrimination marginalization and outright violence also in this society so um can be a way perhaps that even sort of uh, horizontally across uh, different types of excluded groups there should be sympathy between them as well there should be empathy between them as well so it should be i i don't know how this can happen because i i think there's a lot of resistance to solidarity and empathy in our society because it's a caste society but it should be possible for dalits more than others to see how bad things are becoming for for religious minorities at this moment right and and if they can have a common struggle then perhaps it would strengthen the uh, the yeah. overall force of of their opposition to 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 the kind of dominant narratives that we have which are now also as you correctly pointed out imposed by the state uh, more and more you know there's a kind of uh kind of natural sympathy hmm. that the state has towards um towards a certain kind of uh, caste based domination um the other thing i wanted to ask you so you know ha- have you thought about ways to develop a politics of ra- radical empathy uh within a university or institu- institutional context um you know to sensitize students of all communities um you know to bond with one another across these differences uh, which which normally keep them uh, keep them apart the other thing i thought you you said which was very very said uh, provocative but also the most powerful thing probably that uh, can help uh, in in the kind of case you are building is that the crisis of uh, the collapse of public education actually is a crisis for the whole society because it's not just you know it's not just that reservations policy goes out with public education collapsing but also that you know the poor of any of any caste class community religion gender are not able to access education and they will never be able to access education once it is completely privatized so so in a sense the principle of privatization takes uh you know takes the the as you said the euphemism of merit within quotation marks and turns that into like the main filter uh you know uh, or not even it's not even merit i mean it's it's a combination of merit privilege and wealth all of which are of course connected to each other and which are of course connected also to caste status so Uh, i think the great the the greater fight which can draw in more people um over and above scst communities uh, and and students and and uh, you know academics of 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 that sector is that we all need to save or build or strengthen 
uh, uh, public institutions, because otherwise there's no hope at all of ever achieving any kind of uh, equality of opportunity, I think, without that kind of, uh, you know, solid uh, state, uh, state backed affirmative action. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, uh. Okay, sorry. Huh. Most teach yeah, Shweta Singh hai, on only lika hai, most teacher also face discrimination, but most of them are OBC, SC, ST, and women. What is the best way to take the fight forward as it is unequal power relation? The dean, the VC, admin, and committee are all from Aparka. That is what is uh, her point. And Antika also wrote, uh, said there are description, but I go direct to the her question. She asked, how do we then build a plurality of approach approaches to our political articulation that is often attacked in the name of not engaging with formal theory? And one, two more you can take. Uh, uh, Ankush asked uh, discrimination in civil services and state judiciary, what is your view on it? And uh, Narayan Nipesh, he asked, thank, uh, he thank you for your talk. He asked, is there a dif difference in discrimination between university in big city compared to small cities? So there are a few other, we can take it. Yeah, I'll come from, I mean, I'll go the other way around. Oh. See, yeah. <coughs> There is a, a difference, a bit discrimination between the state universities, central universities, and the nature of discrimination also changes, you know, and also the city spaces where, uh, and also the small town uh, spaces, uh, it all depends on, you know, the, the uh, local social movements and many other factors which influences uh, uh, within that, you know, uh, institutions which are located. So therefore, there is uh, a difference between um, uh, the big cities and, you know, small cities, uh, institutions where it is located. They are different again, but discrimination happens. How much it happens? And, you know, there is a, you know, the degree varies, but the degree, uh, but, but discrimination uh, uh, is existing in these, you know, spaces. Yeah, judicial and civil services, obviously, you know, I mean, if you see that, you know, that how that, you know, uh, John Brett, you know, uh, the Kerala MP who said that, you know, I mean, very uh, one uh, 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 judge who wrote on his blog, on his uh, profile, saying that my grandfather's father was a judge, my grandfather was judge, my father was judge, I am judge. So, you know, it is that, you know, I mean, it is certain, you know, uh, civil services, you know, now, you know, discrimination in civil services is also becoming more uh, evident, you know, in Viva, sorry, in the interview process, you know, that, you know, it is highly, you know, evident, you know, how, uh, 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 interview procedure is itself is conducted. Okay, so it is there, it is visible. And also this lateral entry where public system like, you know, even lateral entry in civil services, lateral entry in academic spaces. Okay, some Tom, Dick and Harry who doesn't have basic degree, who is going to come to the institutions and say that, look, university classroom must be taught in these lines. So the professors who were already, you know, had experiences in their field are being going to be governed or you know being you know communicated by you know some lateral entry professors that you know some uh, some prachara can come and say that no you have to teach like this okay so civil services universities you know everywhere judiciary this you know problem is there so discrimination is still no it is wherever caste is there discrimination is there the thumb rule okay it is not that caste is there but discrimination doesn't exist whether it is judiciary civil services xyz okay uh, yeah, teachers facing, you know, discrimination. So, yes, teachers do face discrimination. Okay. Many a times, you know, I mean, uh, 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 you know, I myself questioned my own department when they bypassed me for uh, making me to be part of a selection committee. 
In fact, I did read, yeah. wrote about that, you know, in this, you know. So I said, you know, I mean, so you need to question, you know, the questioning is very important. Yes, discrimination is there. How many speak? No, how many come to, no, they need to consolidate themselves. So once if teachers, consolidation and solidarity is very important to, to speak about these issues. So therefore, automatically, the, 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 the you know, it is mean, it will get exposed. Automatically, it needs to be exposed. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ananya's you know question. These are all very important things which uh, I do uh, 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 agree with. You know the broader consolidation of you know uh, yes in this book, and you know because I'm specifically talking about from the vantage point of caste. Okay, yes, radical empathy is very much necessary. Okay, cutting across the communities, like for example, what happened in Hyderabad University and fallout of that you know Yakub Memon uh, incident has led towards to Rohit Vemula's, uh, you know, suicide. So it is that, you know, if you, if, if we map the student associations and their, you know, activism in sub certain spaces, there was a kind of, you know, empathy that was being built among, you know, religious minority students, uh, Dalit students, women's group, you know, students. So, you know, some way that this is a time to, you know, uh, everybody to come together, okay? And now the identities, which is very, you know, you know, I don't say that you know it's problematic or even non-problematic. The establishment is being used is using these identities to produce violence within the campuses, whether it is ideological, whether it is caste, whether it is you know gender, whatever it may be. So. Yes, radical empathy across the community is necessary and one needs to work out on those lines. Okay, therefore, one needs to map how religious minorities within the campus uh, are facing problems uh, by these dominant, even that, that they may have, they might be facing problem from Dalit faculty also. <laughs> you know, no doubt in that because, you know, they're, you know, at times religion becomes more fundamental in their minds. And therefore, they might, you know, perpetuate uh, discrimination. Uh, I'm not talking about upper caste Hindu uh, professors or, you know, faculty. You know, the lower caste Hindu faculty, as I was mentioning to Dhananjay, that, you know, Christian uh, uh, Dalits, are, uh, Dalit Christians are more vulnerable when it comes to within that Dalit uh, question. So this is very important. So uh, that, you know, entire Hyderabad episode, if you read in uh, Caravan, uh, that they have given the map, the entire, you know, what has led towards to Rohit's, you know, uh, institutional murder, it completely gives that, you know, how the, you know, beef festivals, you know, and um, providing space for, uh, uh, you know, religious minorities to have their prayers, you know, all those things are becoming major, you know, concerns, you know, therefore it is race, it is very, it is very important for different groups who face discrimination cutting across their identities, women. It is not only Dalit women face, you know, these kind of problems, you know, sexual harassment at, you know, institutions, you know, many other, you know, women. How do we bring that, you know, them into a... So, therefore, student's role is very important here, okay? Students' unions also play a role, but, you know, student organizations who, who works on these issues need to be, you know, uh, 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 therefore, you know, I mean, there was a contradiction when Rohit Vemula movement also happened. And also the other progressive students also need to, organizations also need to seriously retrospect. There was a tussle between the slogan, which is using Neil Salalam and Ral Salam. I did witness that, you know, whether we, sh we can use Lal Salam or Neil Salam when the Rohit Vemula movement led in Delhi, Delhi, you know. So therefore, you know, therefore, you know, in one of my papers, I, you know, Red Sun in the Blue Sky. Uh, which I have written that, you know, what was the Rohit's, uh, you know, uh, dream that how, how one can, you know, bring this consolidation of these, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, radical left, radical uh, feminist, you know, uh, uh, Dalit, uh, different groups to come together to fight against this religious fundamentalist, cultural fundamentalist, caste fundamentalist. That is very important. And yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the other thing is that, you know, I mean, when this commercialization, privatization of educational institutions, where, you know, uh, I mean, you see that, you know, cutting across categories. Uh, the other day I was in a uh, bank and, you know, uh, students are coming for educational loans, cutting across categories. 
So that means education is becoming a very completely costly affair. Therefore, you know, I mean, this problem is not only for Dalits, you know, I mean, Dalits exit policy is going to go away. Okay, because, you know, Dalits might not even have a land to mortgage them, their land towards to bank so that they will get a, a loan. Whereas other communities might have certain assets to mortgage their uh, house or their land so that they will get loans. Okay, but yes, this this impact of this you know uh, public institution institutions which is being under serious you know threat uh, uh, all uh, the the uh, uh, the categories every category needs to uh, 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 seriously think about it and students movements uh, is still a hope in this country student movements is still a hope in this country what we have witnessed when farmers uh, uh, agitations was happening where students, different students, they went and they you know, extended support. And, you know, uh, so therefore I see that, you know, there is a hope uh, for, you know, uh, consolidating these, you know, groups within the campus spaces to fight against any form of discrimination. Yes, not only caste, but any form of discrimination, especially you're, you're right that, you know, minority students are under so much so stress, so much so you know, uh, 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 fear, the, the fear psychosis has been created so much so that, you know, you, I mean, today's, uh, I think, newspaper, uh, which says that, you know, a school, fifth class, a sixth class boy was, uh, uh, a boy was slapped because this girl was, he was talking to a Hindu girl. See, we stripped down to such a level in schools that, you know, because a Hindu Muslim boy is speaking to a Hindu girl and he was slapped. And we have seen what happened in Karnataka hijab and many other things you know so you know yes it is very important that we all need to you know come together you know uh, to address this problem there are few other questions i think yeah yeah please so pratishtha ji gopal guru in his work has made distinction between theoretical brahmanism and empirical sudra so this difference become more and more visible in the pronounced universities so, uh, but as we look at uh, Chaudhary's argument, he makes a point of how with rise of a stu student politics and parties in university campus like BASPA, ASA, ETC, they are able to capture and claim space spaces which were not available to them earlier and, and in the process further forcing other to look at the situation. How would you would like to look at this situation? And Santosh asks, uh, gate crashing in what sense? Is, is it not the student entry in a legal constitutional right? And Shweta uh, asks, there are studies that show hashtag me to become a phenomena because it majority uh, affected upper caste. Also the reason why hashtag me to discourse could not be sustained. Can you read the, you read the question again? This last uh, there are studies uh -huh. that shows hashtag me to become a phenomena because it majority affected upper caste. Also the reason why the hashtag me to discourse could not be sustained. Satakshi Malviya Hello, sir. I am Satakshi Malviya, MPhil uh, candidate DU. My question is how you also highlighted the psych psych psychological impact of caste-based student surveillance. Do you see, uh, do they stay conscious 24 into 7 about what they do and how they behave? Uh, and oh, there are many. Uh, <laughs> Leonor from IIT Delhi, great to listen to you and also wonderful to know that this great project is out and now it is out. I have two questions as I liked your idea on radical empathy and care as the way forward to think of radically you know, humane and transformatory classroom. Thus to lay it out one, is not there an idea of uh, restributive uh, justice as an embodied and an exper experiential idea that should also guide practice of pedagogy in India. Second, thus, uh, are there ways and model that you suggest for a change in pedagogy itself? No. There are other also, please, uh, if you can 
Yeah. Uh, should um, I finish it? One, two, three, four. Oh no, there are six more. Just quickly, yeah. you know, maybe if I can merge and respond okay, to okay. every so, question. Hmm. Where, uh, where I was? Huh. Satakshi. Uh, hello, sir. I am Satakshi. Yeah, Satakshi ka ho gaya na. Again, Achha, question second question. Okay. Do you think that university-based caste discrimination work on uh, active surveillance mechanism that are uh, intentionally set for social score scouting? If yes, then can you briefly point out a few? Mm. Vikas, uh, no, Shruti, even within the Dalit community, there are hierarchy. Many have been helped by the affirmative action as well as, and their op operation has reduced. Uh, many have studied from the top English speaking institution in the country. Is the question. Uh, you said that even the Dalit student in Miranda, as LSR, ETC are in some ways an elite. Do you said something about? misusing i i did not understand whether student are mis, misusing or the institution administration are misusing and professor reza ahmed in an era where democratic movement against injustice are uh, discredited and de demolished where is the hope Okay, and there are those anonymous. I am okay. Okay, maybe I think you know we can tell them to you know look in. I mean, broadly, you no know, one can say that you know the see pedagogy plays a very important role in university spaces. Are we learning to empathize or are we learning to hierarchize? Okay, you know, to empathize, you know, pedagogy should play a positive role in human minds, you know, that you know, students' minds that okay, that you know, I am getting educated to treat the other equally and that is not happening you know now what is happening that you know you are just you know studying for the sake of degree but rather than the sake of knowledge which in 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 the other way that it it makes you know uh, uh, in a very humane uh, to think uh, students in a humane condition faculty themselves are uh, being part of it administration themselves are being part of it this kind of discrimination is uh, 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 a, a serious concern uh, when it comes to you know hierarchy within Dalit communities, I did mention about it that yes, not only among within the subcast but also the elite Dalits. You know, I did mention about you know all these institutions where you know the students belongs to this category. Uh, they come from a very affluent background. Okay, though though, though they don't deserve to be uh, claiming the reservations. You know, so in that context, I was mentioning about that LSR or, you know, I mean, uh, 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 certain educational uh, uh, colleges or institutions, the privileged communities are being, you know, considered or taken because of the fee structure or whatever it may be. But also I was using this in the context of the binary between the so-called uh, recognized institution where education will be very good or, you know, the other educational institution uh, will be very weak and, you know, other things. So therefore, that's where in that I was mentioning about. And then, uh, yes, you know, I mean, the theory, empirical, yeah, Gopal Guru in his work, he's argued that, you know, I mean, it is not that theory is, you know, I mean, is constructed by only a particular caste groups, you know, that experiences becomes, you know, the theory. So therefore, you know, uh, uh, one needs to seriously, uh, in fact, Vivek Kumar also worked on that, you know, uh, 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 on these lines, you know, that how one needs to understand the constructed, already constructed knowledge systems. Okay, whether whose theory is theory and whether that theory has any kind of validity. Okay, now, you know, how these theories need to be, you know, considered as, you no, know, if a theory is failed to, uh, to, to facilitate the idea of equality or facilitate the idea of, you know, justice, then somewhere there is a serious problem, you know, therefore, that's why in the beginning I said that we need to start with uh, listening to the people, common people, to reconstruct these theories. Okay, Gopal Guru very rightly argued in that. Okay, Then, get crashing into Gurukuls, it is they are forced to do that. If reservations would have not been there, many Dalits uh, scholars who are first generation scholars like me or someone else, you know, those who are there, you know, they, they would have not even got into the university system. Therefore, 
in one of uh, you know in my facebook comment you know someone posted said that you know uh, you have already get crashed into the uh, system or gurukul you know it, it's like you know so it, it is you are forced number one if you don't allow we will not uh, uh, scot free these spaces these spaces are meant for even us also so therefore i they the, i used this uh, great caching into gurukul but i think uh... sorry the meaning i what i look at it's like that uh, un means not uh, get crashing means uh, you are not invited you are uh, not Force. legitimate uh, to get entry in that sense uh, ha ha yeah de deliberately like, i used this word deliberately i used this word because you know see i also used saraswati portals okay, uh, gurukul saraswati portals no precisely because i also need to communicate that look it is these spaces are not you know your spaces gurukul system which used to be for few now you, it is forced to you know accept us also to be part of this you know space i deliberately used this word okay surveillance on scst students satakshi is question yes you know there is a surveillance you know as, as i said even for our mphilant phd seat there is a surveillance now okay now every student who is questioning the administration either in uh, university spaces or college spaces individuals the same supervisor students are being surveilled on the other students their own peers within the same supervisor wo kon kya kar raha hai wo kahan ek bar ek nazar dalo okay and scst students minority students you know and they they don't have space to organize their own uh, programs and delhi university is full of abvp programs now okay no other uh, 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 organization is allowed now okay see how you know the politics of you know the state also which has its own impact on the institutions and you know other spaces you know so you know surveillance is yes it is there and uh, because of this surveillance many scst students are not able to secure their seats there are two none of us yeah i'll read should there be a centralized all india phd entrance exam where weightage of interview should not be more than 10% and also all india exam for appointing of professor in indian central view can this lead to reduction reducing discrimination in university yes. second to what extent the opinion of the indian vernacular can provide higher education to the wider section of the society i think well you know the language question is a very important thing okay well uh, 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 are we ready to accept it are we ready to accept you know the language as a major concern okay now one language you know pro, you know uh, uh, bringing one particular language as the vernacular is a problematic okay you need to recognize different languages for that matter okay so therefore yes it is very important now only in english uh, is not a feasible thing but at the same time how it also facilitates to negotiate if i would have not learned english i would have remained in andhra so somewhere both vernacular is important at the same time english language plays a very crucial role when you try to negotiate your relationship with other spaces mm -hmm. that is one thing and the other thing which you mentioned uska pehle question kya hai okay Uh, uh, there should be centralized centralized CSD exam no, see, to some extent it, yeah to some extent it might uh, help to some extent but again you know i mean it, i am highly subject to you know centralized uh, recruitment is happening in upsc but what is happening you know when it comes to the viva sorry uh, interview you are giving less marks so wherever caste is there it happens but it might help it yeah. might help because you know in the institution our ms students are so strategic our ms students kiska optional paper liya to aapko m phil seat milega phd seat milega that is the strategy which professor uh, optional paper you take so that you know you will get very cake walk you will get a phd and then it is not long going to uh, uh, you know left there after phd whether you will get a guest pro job in delhi university or not and from guest to ad hoc ad hoc to you know different kinds of you know things so you know so this kind of things can be hmm. Hmm. reduced yes. this oh. kind of things can be reduced okay so now uh, there is time to wind up
uh, I would like to thank Professor N. Sukumar for accepting our invitation. I thank you all, all for joining us today for this wonderful lecture. I also thank uh, our um, director, uh, Professor Saran, for his encouragement and support. And I also thank uh, Sachin, Ayodhya, Pravinji, and other staff uh, for helping to organize these things. Uh, and thank you all. Thank you so much, you know, Nishikant. <laughs>